Welcome to all of you. I am Prakash Sharati. Today you learn CIP system in food processing industry. That means cleaning in place, which is used in food industry for the cleaning process. In this video discussion, you learn typical CIP sequence, then single stage and multi stage CIP system, specific application in dairy processing. Fruits and vegetable processing plant and meat and poultry processing plant with details. CIP cleaning system that means cleaning in place in which the automatic processing plant mostly in liquid food processing in which the processing equipment like the storage tank, then vessels, then formant or mixing equipment, seat exchangers, pipings, fittings, these are the all equipments which are connected and automatic processing line this processing line cleaning is carried out by using the cleaning in place system the specific application of this cip system for the mostly in all liquid food processing industry like the brewing wineries dairy processing and also used for the meat fish poultry processing industry for the cleaning process the basic CIP process is involving main four stages. First one is the pre-rinsing process in which the whatever the food soil which is maximum recovery is carried out in the first pre-rinsing process. The next one is the detergent cleaning process in which the application of alkaline detergents and then acid detergents to remove whatever the remaining of that food soil. Then after that third stage that is the final rinsing to remove whatever the remaining detergents and the remaining food soils and finally disinfectant or the sterilization process is carried out to whatever the microbial load these are the completely reduced by the disinfection process and the sterilization process. These are the typical CIP processing step as in the CIP cleaning process whatever the processing equipment. In this photo you can see the processing vessel, this is the processing vessel, this processing vessel cleaning is carried out by CIP system in which the hot water, detergent and the sanitizers which are spraying continuously on inside of that processing vessel in order to whatever the internal containing that food soil this food soil is removed by the typical CIP sequence cleaning process in this cleaning process the first step is that pre-rinsing process with the hot water which is circulated on the processing vessels or the whatever the processing line 40 to 60 degrees celsius for 10 minutes continuously circulate to remove the whatever containing the maximum food soil then second next after the pre-rinsing process by using the alkaline circulation that is the alkaline by using caustic soda solution 0.5 to 2 percent concentrate caustic soda solution at a 60 to 70 degrees celsius for 30 minutes continuously circulate for 30 minutes to remove whatever the remaining organic soils which are present on that internal processing uh, line and after that next rinsing intermediate rinsing with the hot water at a 70 to 80 degrees Celsius for a 10 minutes to remove whatever the residual or the food soils which are remain present after the next fourth step that is the acid circulation or the acid cleaning process by using 0.5 to 1.5 percent acid like nitric acid solution or the hydrochloric acid solution at a 60 to 70 degree celsius for a 30 minute continuously circulated to remove the whatever the organic food soils which are present in the processing line then after that final rinsing process in which hot water for a 70 to 80 degree celsius for a 10 minutes to completely remove the whatever the soil and detergents which are present and these are the main five stages in which the complete cleaning is carried out and after that final stage that is the disinfectant or by sterilization process in which circulation of the chemical sanitizers uh, by using the hypochlorite solution or by using the iodine based solution or by using steam superated or the saturated steam for complete 
or sterilization of the processing line is carried out. In this uh, <coughs> typical CIP sequence, these are the main sequence in which the all processing uh, equipments, this sequence is carried out. Depending on the specific uh, application, for example, some processing industry acid circulation is carried out between the intermediate and the disinfected may be as per requirement is carried out. But in which the cleaning process, pre-rinsing, alkaline and the final rinsing, these are the main basic steps in which the CIP sequence processing. You can see in this picture, whatever the detergents or the water which is the circulated through the, this processing vessel and cleaning is carried out. The CIP system, the main involving two group in which the first group that is the single user total loss system, CIP system and second system that is the multiple use or reuse or recycle reuse recovery system. That means whatever the CIP system which is set on the food processing industry depending on the specific type of data industry in small scale industry or the in single uh, processing line in which the CIP system in which uh, using by using the only single user on the total loss system low investment but processing cost is very high in the multiple use system for the aseptic plant system and the beverage and dairy processing plant mostly used by multiple use system in which the reused and the recycling system a basic difference between them that is the single user that means whatever the detergents which are used at a one times after the using of the detergent they are not again recycled and not again reused that means once you can use the detergent solution then after the detergent solution the detergent solution is directly drained out this is called as a single use of the total loss system and the multiple use system that means whatever the detergents which are the spray on the processing line or which is uh, flowing into the processing line after that they are again recycled and stored into the uh, detergent storage uh, tank and after that they again recycle for the next batch cleaning process the main parts which are involving in the CIP system that is the tank in which the acid tank, uh, alkaline tank, water tank, these are the main tanks. Then pumping system, piping system, wall, then sprayers, heat exchangers and the complete instrumentation and control that is the automatic. In the single tank total loss system, water and detergent uh, which is circulated or the spray on the processing vessel or the whatever the processing line in which the detergent dose level and the water which are mixed and pumped into the pass into the heat exchanger after the heating this detergent solution is spray on the processing vessel or whatever the processing line complete uh, as per the typical CIP sequence after that whatever the detergent solution they directly drain out they does not use or not recycle for the next batch this is called as a single user total loss system. In this process, the main disadvantage is that the initial investment cost of the CIP system is very low, but processing or the whatever the running cost is very high and are only really used in critical non-contaminated applications like in the pharmaceutical industry. And the main advantage is that CIP solution is once used, then discharged to the drain and it prevents the microbial cross-contamination, high cost of the cleaning chemicals, water and the waste water disposal. The processing each cleaning cycle drain out the water or whatever the detergent solution after the once use. The second one is the two tank reused system with recovery water tank. In this process, this is the two tank CIP system in which main two tank first one the detergent tank and second one is the recovery water tank with processing pumps and the fitting system piping and the wall systems with the heat exchanger for the heating of the water the pre-rinsing water final rinsing water and the detergent solutions then this is the processing vessels which is required to cleaning by the CIP system this is the processing vessels or maybe fitted with the processing line in this process First, 
recovery water tank recovery water tank that means whatever the final rinse water may be recovered and used as a pre rinsing solution for the next cleaning cycle in this system first whatever the recovery water tank containing water which is circulated for for the first rinsing process and after that first rinsing this water is directly drained out then after that first pre rinsing process detergent is passes or circulated into the processing vessel or the processing line continuously as per the specific time temperature combination and after that this detergent is continuously recycled and finally stored into the detergent a tank that means recovery of that detergent or use for the next batch same detergents and after that detergents application the next fresh water that is the final rinsing with the fresh water feeding and uh, final rinsing is carried out and after that final rinsing whatever the this water this again stored for the recovery water tank that means the losses of the water is reduced by using the recovery water tank and similarly same process is applied for the next batch cleaning process the main advantage is that water is a recovery and also the detergents are also recovered and used for as per the requirement more eco friendly and also required to monitoring for the build up of the residual soil in is necessary uh, as per the specific criteria analysis and the processing Uh, sequence which is controlled automatically next third one is the multi tank system with reused system multi tank that means more than two tanks in which the fresh water tank then return water tank caustic solution tank acid solution tank disinfectant solution tank this is the complete multi tank cip system and this is the processing vessel or which is connected with the processing line and this is the recycling system in the multi tank system all detergents or waters and the disinfectant are separately stored and reused for next batch the working of multi tank system in which return water that means the final range of the previous batch water which is circulated into the processing line first and after that they are directly drained out then next one is the caustic soda solution circulated through a processing line and this caustic soda solution continuously circulate and after that they are stored into the caustic soda solution into the this tank then next acid uh, cleaning process in which the acid solution is circulated during the circulation of the acids and whatever the all processing uh, liquids which are passed into the heat exchangers for a maintaining time temperature combination with processing maintaining a specific concentration of that acid alkaline or the disinfected solutions by dosing automatically after the acid wash rinse uh, acid cleaning process the next one is the final rinsing process the fresh water is circulated and then fresh water after the circulation they uh, again return into the return recovery water tank and finally after that cleaning the disinfection process in which the uh, hypochlorite solution which is circulated into the processing line and complete uh, cleaning and disinfection process of this system is carried out which main points should required to consider for the typical cip system used in the food processing in which Uh, whatever the detergents or the water which is flowing into the processing line must be required to high velocity that means flow is turbulent flow turbulence flow which improve the cleaning efficiency then cip inlet is always less than the outlet in the tank that means whatever the outlet that outlet should be very high as compared to inlet that means whatever the drainage the drainage system should be required to very high then cip spray system what this whatever the spray in inside of the processing line this spray must be required to complete cover the all inside the area of that processing vessel 
then always have safe separate between the processing line and the cleaning line properly fitted and the controlling system whatever the processing line system and the whatever the circulation of the detergent lines these are should be required to separate or maybe properly fitted with the controlling devices cip process in which the detergent concentration temperature pressure and the flow rate which is automatically controlled by properly setting up the proper set of that processing uh, line with the microprocessor controlling system all pipe fitting always properly angle to reduce the resistance of the flow and uh, internal flow should be turbulence in order to properly cleaning up the internal all piping system these are the main points should be required in the cip uh, construction and application in the food processing the cip system in dairy processing plant before start milk processing must require to first cip treatment then processing of the milk and after that completion of that batch again cip treatment is carried out each and every batch before start and after completion must require to cip treatment the concentration of the caustic solution or the acid solution is depending on the contamination of that food soil its percentage mostly in dairy processing it is concentration in the range of 0.5 to 1% in the typical sequence first one is that is the pre rinsing with the hot water at a 45 degrees Celsius for 10 minute after the pre rinsing the next one is the caustic solution circulation which is 1% at a 70 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes after the 30 minute circulation of the caustic sol solution the next one is the intermediate hot water rinsing process 80 degrees Celsius for 10 minutes then after that main acid solution circulation that is the 0.5% nitric acid solution 60 to 70 degrees Celsius for a 30 minute. This acid solution circulation which is uh, each and every batch is not carried out as a specific uh, 4 to 5 batch after that intermediate uh, acid solution is circulated and then after that final hot water rinsing process at 80 degrees Celsius for a 10 minute. This is the main typical sequence of the CIP sequence in the dairy processing plant. That means before start to processing of the dairy plant must require to uh, one and half hour to complete the CIP sequence and then after that processing is start. You can see in this process flow of the CIP treatment in the dairy processing plant in which first one is the pre rinsing process in which the pre rinsing process whatever the recovery water tank which is the final rinsing after that final rinsing this recovery water tank which is the circulated for the next batch pre rinsing process then this pre rinsed water is directly drain out the next one is the caustic soda solution circulation this caustic tank we need the caustic soda solution is circulated on the processing line after that they are again recycled and stored into the caustic so uh, solution tank the next intermediate rinsing with the hot water then drain out then nitric acid solution circulation in which the acid solution is circulated for 30 minutes which is again recycled and again stored into the storage tank used for the next batch and then final that is the final rinsing process with the fresh water which is the hot water is circulated final after the final rinsing this water is stored into the recovery water tank and used for the as a pre rinsing water for the next batch processing this is a typical sequence of the dairy plant cip system next one is the cip treatment for fruits and vegetable processing plant in which the aseptic processing line of fruit juices pulp puree paste and the tomato processing and the value added liquid food processing line before start to processing must require to CIP first and after that processing start in which the, the typical sequence is in which the first one is the pre rinsing with the hot water for 10 minutes then caustic soda solution circulation that is the 0.5 to 1 percent for 30 minutes then intermediate hot water rinsing for 10 minutes then nitric acid solution 0.5 to 1 percent circulation for 30 minutes then final rinsing with the hot water this is the same process of the use in dairy processing in which the first cleaning proper cleaning is carried out and finally after that cleaning 
the sterilization process is carried out by using the superheated steam which is circulated in the processing line for 30 minutes that means first cleaning and then sterilization with the circulation of the hot superheated steam for a 30 minutes treatment in meat and the poultry processing plant mostly all the meat and poultry processing plant automatic cip system is not possible on of the all processing line in which mostly all processing line after the completion of each batch or the before start of the processing properly uh, dismantle the specific processing equipments and cop tank cleaning process is carried out in which the first whatever the processing line or the processing area first cleaning is carried out by physical pickup whatever the waste and the contaminant shown and after that dry sweeping process with the help of the cleaning equipments then next one is the pre rinsing uh, or also by using the spraying system or by using the foaming system cleaning is carried out the next one is the final cleaning with the use of the detergents detergent solution in which the uh, caustic soda solutions used for a cleaning process with the proper concentration time temperature combination with the application of the high pressure and after that final rinsing is carried out and then finally final rinsing process after that sanitation is carried out with the using of the proper sanitizer mostly used as a, a sodium hypochlorite solution as a sanitizer and these the, are the references used for this powerpoint presentation thank you very much if you like 